How you doing? This girl right here. Stand right here. She got a golf club and ran me down the street. Why? What happened? Because she got somebody wants that ball hood. My man right there. And then she going to try to jump on me. Step back on the sidewalk. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. So I'm talking to this lady, and I'm trying to get this story. But I could tell this woman, she's a little intoxicated. OK, you have some ID on you? Yeah, ma'am. Let me have it. Uh, uh, no, I got it in the hand. Go yeah, get it and bring yeah, it back to me. Yeah, ma'am. And I'm finna yeah. go talk to her. Yeah, ma'am. There she is right there. OK. What happened, ma'am? Crazy. What's wrong with her? She's on the been drinking alcohol. Came out at her yard talking about she going to beat me up. They mm -hmm. steal all my stuff out my yard. They stole my air conditioner. They stole my dog. They done stole everything. Every day she get drunk, talk Call the police. Who called the police? She did or you did? She did. And you live here and she lives there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you have your ID? Yes, ma'am. Let me have your ID, too. So basically, the next door neighbors are saying that the uh, complaining always comes next door, stealing her stuff, asking to borrow stuff, and all this kind of stuff. So at this point, I don't know who's telling the truth or what's going on. I done told this woman 10 times, just stay out of my yard, stay out of my husband's face. She be running out here asking him for cigarettes, begging, asking him to buy her stuff and stuff. You ain't got Hey, uh-uh. You ain't got Uh-uh. So of course, this lady next door, she just did it going on and on and on and on. I'm basically trying to keep her in her yard to keep from trying to take her to jail, but she's not listening. Turn around. Me Jones. Turn around. Turn around. Because you won't be quiet. Yeah, ma'am. I'm sorry. And I told you to stay on the sidewalk, didn't I? Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. You know why I told you that? Yeah, ma'am. Why? Because you were talking to them. Because you're drunk. And I was trying to help you. But I can't help you. Me John, I just came Now you done came in the street. Yeah, ma'am. Now you know what it is? Yeah, what? Public intoxication. You got to show some kind of respect yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, ma'am, but I'm sickly. You yeah, ain't sickly. Because you all running up and down the street cussing and fussing and drinking and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, John, I'm sickly. So, of course, when the handcuffs go on, every sickness and illness you can have in the world, she has. I got all my medication and everything in there, Miss John. I swear to God. What kind of medication you all? No, uh, don't, don't start all that crying. Me John, don't, I swear nope, to God. Nope, don't, don't start all that. I know. What kind of medication are you on? I'm on Embryo and For what? What's that for? Uh, my rheumatoid arthritis. She got high blood pressure. She got diabetes. She has this. She got that. I mean, everything's wrong with her now. That's why she doesn't need to go to jail. You have your ID on you? I don't have my ID, but I got all this information with my name on that came out of my purse. At this point, I get everybody's information. I'm going to run everybody. We're going to run both of them, see if anybody got warrants, and then we'll go from there. And then come to find out, the neighbor comes back with a warrant. That's she? Yes, ma'am. OK, you know you have a warrant out for your reason. For what? I, you tell me. Oh, well, I have one. It's a ticket. It's a felony warrant. How is it Do you know what that warrant? is? Did it say what it was for? What was it for? Possession. Possession You've been in trouble for possession before? Any drugs? No, ma'am. Drug charges? No, ma'am. I don't know why people lie like that, because all we got to do is put their name and date of birth in the system. Everything they've been to jail for is going to come up. I ain't never been no jail for no control stuff. Were you sure you put my name in there, right? Yes, ma'am. Duh. I mean, they think we're stupid. I don't know what it is. I was in a car accident. 18 wheeler hit me from behind. I am injured. I ain't got time for her. Now, all of a sudden, she's sick. Do you keep this on all the time? She wants us to go get her neck braced because now her neck half broke. And I mean, just everything wrong with her now. Why you ain't had a thing on when I first drove up? Because I had just got out the shower. These people got all these ailments. They need to stay in the house. They should not be getting into it. You sell somebody jail, boy, everything started breaking down. My neck broke, I'm pregnant. I'm on medication. I got arthritis. I'm blind in one eye. Can't hear out the one ear with all kind of stuff. It's just dumb. Y'all need to stop calling the police when y'all know y'all got your own issues. You, you, know, you understand what I'm saying? You know, it's just frustrating to get calls like this because it's a waste of time. What are we going to do if I take these handcuffs off you? I'm going to stay in my habit zone, mind my own business. I mean, it's just so ridiculous for two grown adults to act like this. Don't you call the police no more. Yeah, ma'am. Not unless you sober. Yeah, ma'am. This is all for nothing. <laughs> Basically, I'm just a babysitter. I go to these grown people's houses and basically tell them what to do. You don't have to be the sharpest knife in the drawer that just have some common sense. You'd be surprised how many people don't.